So a Magic the Gathering store got robbed recently. The store's name is Midgard Games. And you can look that they left a Candelara of Thanos. No, of Tabernacle. A Candelara of Tabernacle worth, I don't know, $800. Uh, they seem to be hitting random cards. So this may not even be a Magic player. I think this is somebody who knows magic cards are valuable and they have resell value and your magic cards are no different than cash now how much cash you get for it depends on who you sell it to but in terms of secondary value yeah you can absolutely sell this in person at a store for 20 30 40 percent or you could sell it online for much more so the derby police uh, approximately at 6 a.m., they contacted the owner of the game to let him know the front door has been smashed. And he spent the morning with two detectives at the crime scene investigation. We don't have video yet. But overall, it looks like they targeted Magic the Gathering cards, uh, particularly singles, sealed boxes, and so on. Magic is an addiction. So I can see this two ways. Magic is an addiction, and it's a very expensive addiction. And then secondly, I can see it as, hey, magic is so expensive right now, it's no different than a K jeweler, right? K jeweler, the level of security at a jeweler or a, a secondary watchmaker, a watch seller is incredibly high. But at a magic, because it's supposed to be family friendly, it's supposed to be a fun place to be, the security is for the amount of value in that store the security is relatively lax for most magic the gathering stores and if you are thinking about stealing something that can easily be changed to cash you know diamonds they have serial numbers on on them gold yes can be melted down but again the person probably be like why do you want to melt it down Magic cards are intangible, meaning that they're easy to exchange with each other. That it once you when you steal, let's say a Alice Norm, that Alice Norm looks like every other Alice Norm. When you steal a diamond, that diamond is not like every other diamond because it has a serial number laser inscribed to it. That uh, gold piece that you have, if it's from like a smaller, unique artist artisan. Maybe a 101. It may be, have some type of, or even a watch. So a Rolex has a serial number to it. So it's a little harder to move when people are publishing, oh, this watch got stolen with this serial number. Magic cards are among the things that are the easiest, in my opinion, to move from a thief, from a, if you're going to call this a career. Because, again, there's no serial number. You might be like, oh, there's new serial cards. Yes, 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 I understand. That is very recent. But it's not for everything, right? For Rolexes, every Rolex has a serial number. It has a card. It has a game. So when you're buying a, a Rolex without a, a card, a matching card to that serial number, you might be like, hmm, this kind of is a little shady. Maybe I should report this uh, if things get out of hand. Again, you know, I hate to say this, but most Magic the Gathering store owners, they're not making a ton of money from Magic the Gathering. They're making money from Pokemon and other games and board games. They have much, much higher margins in Magic at this point in time. So to see somebody break into your store, I, I, so he posted a video on Facebook and he's in relatively good moods. He's grateful. So this is the number one post on Reddit at the moment. He's grateful for the community support. Um, and honestly, this is just kind of what you prepare for. Just like if you're an eBay seller, eBay has in its disclosure, hey, you should be aware that some percentage of your shipments will be, you know, will be sent to scammers. There, there'll be some type of loss, some type of losses. Now, yeah, what what people are saying is that this guy may not be a magic player because he le leaves a can deliver. But again, it's dark. You know, he's got to move quickly. It looks like he took most of the cards um, that were on that at least one side of the table, right? It is sad to see. That, it's always sad to see another store fail.
face something like this. You know, stores are the bloodline. It's the same thing uh, as like when people try to cancel stores. The dude opening the store is doing so for your benefit. It really does not help him uh, financially. Many store owners are talented enough. I mean, especially if you've opened a business, you can open a restaurant. You can open a like. I don't know what you'd be selling. You, you, you could be selling ice cream or fireworks or costumes, and you probably make a lot more money than selling this. The problem with magic is the inventory is so damn expensive that it just. How can I say? Like, the, the, the price of magic cards are out of control. It's out of control. And I attribute most of. Again, back in 20, 20 year, five years ago, no one's going to break into a store to steal magic cards because magic cards are worthless. If the items you're stealing have no value, you don't steal them, right? It, it's very, it's a very simple understanding. As the items go up in price, the there is more and more of a ability. There's more uh, and more of a reward if you will, a more of a benefit if you steal. So if you are going to break into a store and they only have $100 of things, you're not going to break into a store. It's not worth the risk. But if they have $100,000 of things in the store, then maybe you can justify and say, you know what, I can I can take a bigger haul. Um, and if I'm caught, I'm caught. But if I'm not, there's, you know, I don't have to steal from every store every other day. I can just take from this one store. It's very disappointing to see this. Um, again, I never blame the victim. Victims are victims. Even if you leave your binder in your car, you're still a victim. Uh, and no one should be smashing your car window to get steal your binder. You know, a, a lot of times in Reddit, they make it seem like these victims are asking to be victims. I don't think anyone asks. Maybe you're a little lax. Maybe you now ha will ha implement better policies. But no one wants their stuff stolen. I mean, that should be obvious. Sad to see. Um, definitely give uh, this guy some support. Let me figure out where he's located. So it is called Midgard Games. Guard is spelled differently. It's spelled G A R D and Darby Darby Dar Derry Derry with D E R R Y New New Hampshire. Yeah, I think that's New Hampshire. So it's kind of a small state. Yeah, they left uh, the Candelera. That's why people are so <laughs> upset about that. Uh, if they wanted to rob Magic players, it would just be easier to apply to Wizards of the Coast. But th this is the problem. The problem is when you have hundreds of thousands, just randomly. Like I, I'm not even, I'm not. You didn't even try. You just have like thousands of collector boxes and booster boxes. It doesn't take very much inventory to get over a hundred thousand dollars in Magic nowadays. If you have singles and boxes, I mean, it's pretty sad, guys. Anyway. Uh, leave me a comment below if you guys have ever had your store robbed or have had your local game store robbed. Bye, <laughs> guys.